present in y axis basic as usual correct right now you can scroll one at a time you can scroll x axis or you can scroll y axis is it possible to scroll x and y axis together no it's not possible correct right you can scroll x axis or you can x, x, uh, sorry you can scroll y axis so you can perform one action at a time you can perform what one action at a time okay so x axis or y axis okay now let us talk about this now look at my screen everyone look at my screen everyone so in order to handle the scroll bar okay in order to and you know what is scroll bar there is no definition correct right uh, there is no definition you know how to scan the uh, scroll bar so how do we handle the scroll bar how do we handle the scroll bar we are going to handle the scroll bar with the help of javascript executor we are going to handle the scroll bar with what we are going to handle the scroll bar with java script executor javascript executor is an interface using this interface we can handle the scroll bar with the help of method called execute script execute script Okay, so we have a method, we have a um, interface called as what? JavaScript executor is an interface. With the help of JavaScript executor interface, we can handle this scroll bar. Okay, you remember this? You remember this? Uh, uh, web driver architecture. You remember web driver architecture? I've drawn a diagram there. We have web driver is an interface. We have this. Okay, so web driver is a web driver is an interface okay now what we have to do if you observe in the initial classes we have done the upcasting correct if you observe in the initial classes what we have done we have done upcasting correct right to where to where we have done upcasting we have done upcasting to the web driver interface isn't it to where we have done we have done the uh, upcasting to the web driver interface Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to do type casting. What we have to do, we have to do type casting. Understanding? So from web driver interface to JavaScript executor interface, we have to do type casting. We have to do type casting. Okay, so how do we handle the scroll bar? Step number one, we have to do typecasting. Once you type, once you do the typecasting, second step, we can execute the script. Second thing is what? Execute the script. Are you understanding? So step number one, we have to do typecasting. Step number two, we have to do the executing script. We can access a method executing script. Everybody's clear? How do we access a scroll bar? How do you access the scroll bar? Is it clear? So, step number one, we have to do typecasting. Step number two, we have to do, we have to call a method called as executing script. By this, we can handle the scroll bar. Clear? Clear? Everyone? Okay. Now look at my screen. Look at my screen. So, how do you write the program for this? In which axis the scroll bar is this? Is it in x axis or is it in y axis? In which bar the scroll bar is present? The scroll bar is present in y axis. Correct, right? So when I'm scrolling y axis, x axis will be dummy. So the axis value will be zero. Are you understanding? So when, when I'm scrolling, observe carefully, when I'm handling the y axis, the x axis will be zero. It will be dummy okay so when i'm scrolling x-axis y-axis will be dummy are you understanding so when i'm scrolling 
x axis y axis will be dummy are you understanding so you can scroll one at a time as you all know manual it is not possible automation also it's not possible okay manual possible to scroll automation also it's not possible to scroll simple now what i need to do i need to scroll top to bottom bottom to top i need to do what scrolling so which axis it is which axis it is x or y axis but you have to be very careful about the axis it is in y axis so let's start write the coding let's start accessing it where is it mm -hmm. It is what's your project name? Huh. Uh, news creator class. Let me write it as huh? to zero select the main method click on finish now oh, let me write the code web driver driver equals to new chrome driver of let me import web driver let me import chrome driver now driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot get let me go copy paste the url of the application now let me use implicit page driver dot manage dot times out dot implicitly wait duration of seconds step number one step number one you have to do type casting step number one type casting we have to do so from where to where we have to do from web driver to javascript executor we have to do type casting okay so we have to do type casting from web driver to javascript executor so how do you do type casting so we'll write java script executor okay it's an interface you all know it's not a class it's an interface javascript executor be very careful javascript execute okay, this again i'm repeating javascript executor we have class and we have interface but javascript executor is a class or interface according to the diagram according to the diagram class is an interface it's an interface so you need to select what you need to select a interface javascript executor driver is equals to sorry javascript executor js is equals to driver javascript executor js is equals to driver this is how you have to do type casting clear how do you do type casting clear how do you do type casting so once after you do type casting we can hack see many people do mistake here okay once after you do type casting we can access a method okay once after you do type casting you can access a method which method you can access that is called as execute script see while selecting a method you have to be very very careful which method you have to select the second one execute script so there are so many things execute asynchronous script so you have to select which one execute script you have to select which method tell me everyone which one we have to select execute script execute script is a method now, here, 
okay we have two axes x axis and y axis so my scroll bar is there in which axis my scroll bar is there in which axis y axis so x bar, x axis will be if i'm not using that x axis so x axis will be zero and y axis will be 5000 y axis will be 5000 Ah, you can ask me, what is this 5,000? What is this 5,000? Oh, one second. Sorry, sorry. I have to write one more. Inside this, I have to write window dot crawl by 0, 5,000. So you can ask me a question. What is this 5,000? Is the 5,000 is constant? No. You can give any value. You can give 100, 200, 300, 50, 40, whatever you want, you can give it. What happens? What happens? If you give 100, 200, the jerk of the scroll bar will be a little bit. Just care. That's all. 200, little bit. That's all. If I give 5,000, it will scroll till the end of the page. The more value you give, it will scroll till the end of the page. The less value you give, it will scroll only less. The less value you give, it will scroll only less. So much. It will scroll only so much. Are you understanding? Is it clear? This value is not constant. This value is not constant. You can give any value. Okay. So let me run the code and be very careful. This is case sensitive. Window should be in all small case. Scroll by should be in a camel's case. Window should be small case and scroll by should be in a small case. Now let me run the program. It opens the browser, enters the URL. Is it scroll till the down of the page? Is it scroll till the down of the page? No. I want to scroll upwards. Down is okay. Now I want to scroll what? Upwards. I want to scroll up. I want to scroll up. Okay, so I want to scroll down. Okay, I wanted to sleep, uh, sleep for three seconds. Then I wanted to scroll up. Okay, now look at my screen. Oh, one minute. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, one minute. The code is wrong. So here I have to write minus 5,000. It should scroll. So I should write minus 5,000. <laughs> Is it scrolled? Is it scrolled up and down? Yes. It is scrolling fast only. We cannot speed up. We can use it scrolling fast only. Okay. So write the code, write it, and execute the code. Write it and execute the code. Start writing and execute the code.
guys done done clear you will get an exception if you have not selected a right method and if you have not written this is string you have to write it as it is okay this is a string you have to write it as it is okay this is a string you have to write it as it is okay this is a string you have to write it as it is got it now look at the screen everyone look at my screen everyone guys does it make any sense whatever the program you have written does it make any sense this crawling top to bottom bottom to top does it make any sense does it make any sense no correct right doesn't make any sense now let's write a bit sense but let's write a program doesn't make any sense correct right we don't both go scroll top and bottom now let me tell you one scenario i want to open the application i want to open the application and i want to scroll i want to scroll till this new arrivals in toys i want to scroll till new arrivals in toys then i want to click on it does it make a proper sense does it make a proper sense so what i need to do i need to scroll the page i i mean i need to scroll till okay i need to scroll till i need to scroll till new arrivals in toys i need to scroll till where i need to scroll till new arrivals in toys then i wanted to click on new arrivals in toys understood everybody is clear everybody is clear okay i want to scroll till new arrivals in toys then i wanted to click on it okay now observe carefully the logic i'll just copy this i'll just copy this now understand the logic very carefully let me create a class okay now look at my screen what i need to do what i need to do is first i want to take the i want to take what i want to take so here i need to click on this element so what i need to do i need to take the address of this element first isn't it i need to take address of this element isn't it Yes or no? Okay. So step number one. First, I need to from where I need to scroll. I need to take the address. Yes or no? Now. First, let me write to right click. inspect this element step number 1 first what i need to do i need to inspect this element okay so let me inspect this element so using which one let me go with the text function let me go with the text function as i told you every time by text function it would be easy rather than the attribute if you have text and attribute go with the text because text will always give you the unique element function is it matching is it matching now what i will do let me copy this value let me copy this value now let me start writing the code driver dot find element by using xpath paste the value 
let me store it inside one variable let me store it inside one variable the return type of this is web element the return type of this is web element clear till you everybody is clear till you now on what basis it will scroll observe carefully i'll not repeat again and again okay now first step is what i identified the address of the element i got to know where is the element is okay now second step number two i want to get the coordinates of that element to get the coordinates we have a method i've thought you one method which is that <sighs> To get the coordinates, I have thought you one method, which is that I want to get the coordinates of this method. Very good, perfect. Which is that method? Get location. I have thought, oh, guys, one second. <coughs> Sorry, guys, let's continue. Okay, so we have a method I've taught you, which is that get location. So, what is the use of get location? Get location will give you that coordinates of that element, it will give you x and y coordinate of that element. Now, how do I use that? Le dot get location. Le dot get location. So, let me store it inside one variable. The return type of this is point. Okay. Get location. The return type of this is point. Are you understanding? So we have a method called as what? ELE dot get location. And we are going to store the return type of that is point. Everybody is clear? Everybody is clear? I'll not be repeating again and again. I'll repeat again. First, what I need to know. I need to get the coordinates of that element because I need to scroll till there. On what basis? By the coordinates basis. Okay. By that coordinate basis, I want to scroll. Now, what I will do, let me call here ELE dot get location. Okay. I'm going to get the location of that element. Okay. Let me store it inside one variable. The return type of this is point. The return type of this is point. Clear? Clear? Point is a class. Point is a class. So using this point class, we have a method called as get x. Using this uh, method, uh, we have a method called as get x. Okay, next. P dot get y. We have a method called as get x and we have a method called as get y. So this get x and get y are the method which are coming from the point class. Point is a class from where this get x and get y is coming from this point class. Clear? Everybody is clear? Now, that's all. Same old story. Now let me type. Typecasting. JavaScript executor. js is equals to driver okay next js dot execute script js dot execute script now guys look observe here observe here, observe here. now 
now tell me what is the output for everybody tell me what is the output for line number 32 think and tell me what is the output for line number 32 what's out everybody should tell me now what's output for line number 32 basic simple java coding it will print x and y everybody agrees it will print x and y what it will print it will print x and y correct what is an output for line number 33 what's the output for line number 33 it will print the value of x and y it will print the value of x and y is it clear what's the output for x plus y it will print the values of x and y is it clear is it clear okay so what's the output for line number 32 32 will print the value as x plus y and 33 will print the values of x and y clear Everybody's clear with this? Isn't it? Hmm. Now, why I taught you, I'll tell you. Here we are going to write it as window dot crawl by. So I'm going to write it as x comma y. Now, if I write like this, if I write like this x comma y then this is equals to line number 32 okay if i write like this x comma y this is equals to what line number 32 is it correct do i want it to print x and y somewhere do i want it to print x and y somewhere so this is equals to what line number 32 everybody is clear this is equals to what line number 32 I want to print to. I want to print as what? I want to print as what? I want to print the value. So I am doing concatenation. So I am doing what? Concatenation. Is it clear? I am doing what? Concatenation such that it should behave like X and line number 33. Understood why am I writing plus symbol? Understood why am I writing plus symbol? Because it should act like a concatenation. So line number, it should act like what? It should act like line number 33. It should act like what? Line number 33. Everybody is clear? Why did I write like this? Because it should fetch the values. It should fetch the values. Clear? Clear? Oh, super. Now, after scrolling, let me wait because I want to teach. No, this is for teaching purpose. Let me wait for three seconds. Then I need to go and click on it. Then you need to click on that image. Isn't it? Isn't it? So this is a program for scrolling. After scrolling, it should go and click on it, right? It should click on it, right? So click on it. Now observe carefully. Is it scrolled? Is it scrolled? Everybody scrolled? Is it waiting for three seconds? Is it scrolled? Why is it not clicking? Oh, it will not click. It will not click. Scrolling, but it will not click. Why it will not click? I'll tell you. Now, manually, are we able to click on this uh, word? I mean, this text, are we able to click on this text? No. But what have you, what have you inspected? We have inspected a text only, correct? What have we inspected? We have inspected this text, isn't it? Yes, we have inspected this text. So let's not inspect. So our, uh, we have to inspect the image. Let's inspect the image. So text we have taken. Let me go with image. Uh, 
with the tag name. Tag name is ing elt img at the rate alt. Okay, image is highlighted. Let me copy. Let me change the xpath expression. That's all. Nothing else. Understood what is the mistake we have done? Everybody understood what mistake we have done because text it will not click. It's a text, it will not click. You have to take image, you have to inspect image. Now, let me have this. Why is it going black screen? What happened to this? Are you able to see the black screen, everyone? Are what happened? Wait, 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 let me check, let me check. Huh. Let me run it again. Let me run it again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There is no space in my system. Oh, one minute, one minute, guys. Oh, this is one stupid issue. Oh. No space, space constraint. Uh, it will not run. Wait, I have to delete something or else it will not run. What to delete? Everything is important. Oh, my browser also is updated. Okay, now look at my screen, everyone. Can you see a session not created exception? How many of you got this? Session not created? Session not created means your browser is updated. What's the meaning of it? Session not created means what? Session not created means what? Your browser is not been updated. Your browser is not been updated. Okay. So you have to download the latest browser. Okay. So how do you download? Look at this. Same story. You have to go to selenium.dev. First, you have to check the version. What's the version of this? It has been updated. Help about Google Chrome. What is my version? 1.8, sorry, 108, 108. Okay, go to downloads. Step, same steps. Go to uh, browsers, uh, Chrome, documentation documentation 108 download 108 download okay you have to download add it to the build path okay so your browser keeps changing okay so what's the solution it's a it's a manual work no whenever it changes we have to go add it it's a manual process how can you avoid this manual process you will learn it in auto uh, project so let me copy paste the new one is a new one is copied? No. Right click, properties, location. Uh, where is that? This is my old one. If you're if you're not able to delete, that is okay. You can rename. Okay. If it is not able to delete, that is still fine. You can rename. You can rename. Right click. And where is this refresh? Refresh. You can rename. Sometimes it's not working, also it's fine. Okay. You can. It's the same pro it's the same thing. It's the same thing for Chrome also. It's the same thing for Firefox as well. Is it scrolled? Is it scrolled? Is it clicking? Is it scrolled? Is it clicking? I'll give for five seconds. Observe, observe. Observe again. I'll... Guys, are you? What happened? Wait. Mm. Is it scrolled? Is it scrolled? Is it scrolled? Is it clicking? 
Is it clicking? Am I audible? Hello, am I audible? Can you all see my screen? Everybody understood the program? Everybody understood the program? Okay. Take anything, scroll wherever you want. Okay. Write the program, scroll it. Write the program, scroll it. Start writing the code. Start writing the code.
guys done everyone done everybody understood everybody understood everybody is clear everybody is clear everybody understood yes everybody is clear everybody understood everybody understood clear okay so guys one minute make a note of interview question guys are you studying the interview questions are you guys are studying the interview questions yes okay is it useful is it useful is it useful then we have about yes last classes huh we have doubt about last What? classes uh, framework last class yeah sorry i didn't understand can you repeat again we have doubt about last class is frame you have not done last classes sir we i have doubt no. about last classes oh you have doubt about last classes uh, habina can we do it tomorrow can we do it tomorrow habina okay no problem Okay, guys, today I'm not well. I'm having severe headache. But did you all understood the scroll bar? Okay, but did you all understood the scroll bar? Doubts tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll clarify your doubts. Okay. Uh, make a note of interview questions and we'll wind up today. Okay. Uh, make a note. Make a note. Don't worry, I'll be all right tomorrow. Not to worry. I'm getting a headache. Uh, so I'll, if I take rest today, I'll be proper tomorrow. okay don't worry class is there tomorrow then don't think holiday class is there tomorrow and it's at 7 o'clock sharp okay uh, make a note how to handle to, tomorrow you have a class at 7 o'clock how to handle scroll bar next what is type casting where you have used type casting in a uh, selenium how, how to handle scroll bar what is type casting where you and where you have used type casting in selenium manual question Oh yeah, I have to teach you one click action. Ah, oh, I I will I will tell you. I'll tell you, Nikhil. Ah, oh, make a note of this. I'll tell you. Manual question. Explain. I I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Explain. Ah. Oh. System. Testing. Explain. differences between bug defect error and exception java questions explain constructor 
and constructor overloading uh, guys tomorrow we will do the uh, doubt clarification session or else what we will do is tomorrow uh, one two uh, Wednesday I'm going to complete Thursday we'll do doubt clarification session of chapter one and chapter two before we start up with the uh, chapter three we will do that okay so what we will do what we will do we will keep on dedicated day two hours we will keep it and we will do or however it is however you want we will we can discuss that later okay finish copying I have to do one small concept finish writing Finished writing. I have to do one small concept. Ma'am, what about file upload and file download? Finished? Finished? Okay. Guys, you remember, you remember I told many of you are getting element not clickable exception. You remember? You remember? No, we'll finish it off this. You remember you got that element not clickable exception, ma'am. We were getting this. I told I'll teach you later. You remember? Ah, here it is there. From now onwards, if click is not working, if now onwards click is not working, you can use this. See, instead of writing like this, I will write one code here. Look at there. JS dot execute script. Okay. JS dot execute script. This is a string and this is fixed. This is a string and this is fixed. Okay, arguments, arguments, zero, okay, dot click. So what we have to do, if that, if wherever you're getting that error, first you have to do typecasting. First you have to do typecasting, then you have to call this method, gs.execute script, argument dot click. Click on which element, you have to specify that element name. Click on which element you have to specify the argument name. You have to click on L. You have to click on L. Are you understanding? Are you understanding? On which element I want to click? I want to click on it. From now onwards, if a click method is not working, okay, what you should do? You have to write this. JavaScript executor typecasting. Then you have to write this. Okay. Now that error will be automatically gone. Look here. The error will be automatically gone. Oh. Now you see it will click using JavaScript executor. What happened to this? Is it scrolled? Is it scrolled? Wait, I've given five. Is it clicked? Is it clicked? Is it clicked? Okay. Make a note. That's all. Okay. You write a heading. Click to perform. Click using Java script executor. From now on, wherever click is not using, Click is wherever the click is not working, you can write this code. Wherever click is not working, you can write this code. Okay, copy down this code. Copy down this code. It's a fix. It will never change it. It's a fixed one. It's a fixed one. It will never change. You have to import import the point class you have not imported place your cursor on the point and import so error will go have you all made a note of this 
have you all made a note of this yes we have to pa pass the address of that element which element you want to click you have to pass the address of that element you have to right click inspect wherever you want you have to pass the address of that element and you have to perform click Clear? This one, just copy the code. 